Shell, thank you. Giving matters here at WUSA 9. And when you think about Montgomery County, Maryland, food insecurity might not come to mind, but for more than 40,000 children, they just don't have enough to eat. That's right. This morning, we'd like you to meet the Kids in Need distribution, distribution team that's making an impact on these young lives. This county is full of incredible poverty. Lichtenstein is talking about Montgomery County. I grew up in this county and I said it's been always the richest county in the United States, whether it be Fairfax County or Montgomery County, it's always like one and two. And then I started doing some follow up research and I went, oh my God. That's when the father of two and Bethesda based realtor started Kids in Need Distributors, also known as Kind, on the belief that child hunger is intolerable. And at the time, I think like 10 years ago, we had about 150,000 kids on a free and reduced meal plan in Montgomery County schools, which is about a third of the kids in the schools, which completely blew my mind. Jeremy got right to work starting with one elementary school. And I called my kids principal when they were going to school. I asked him if I could do a pilot program at his school, which was delivering food for the neediest kids. And he said, sure, and then I talked to the counselor and she said, there's 37 kids I can think of right off the top of my head. Why don't we start with that? Borrowing a friend's pickup truck, he began making trips to the grocery store and dropping off food items for students supported by the free and reduced meal program. His efforts continue to expand. Kind now serves 27 schools, over 3,000 students, and has dozens of volunteers in a fleet of at least 50 vehicles. So there's Garrett Park, there's Highland Elementary, there's Sandburg, and then Joanne Lelick. So there's all these schools, 27 of them will go out at one time. Once those gray doors open up, we'll send in the volunteers to grab the carts. The need is great. Jeremy says in some of these schools, 97% of the school is on the free and reduced meal plan. And when schools were closed during the pandemic, the need was even greater. In the 2020-2021 school year alone, KIND provided nearly $400,000 in assistance to students. You know, the schools were closed for a long time. And, you know, the, the kids needed food and the families needed food. So we actually pivoted to gift cards from a local grocery store. It was almost like we never missed a step. Jeremy says it's the heartwarming letters from the families expressing gratitude that keeps him going strong. And as long as there's a need, Kind is ready to serve. They need the help, you know. Everybody put them in this place, they just are in it, so it's unfortunate. If we weren't so much need, I probably would back off a little bit, but I just want to feed as many kids as I can feed as fast as I can. I love it. I love yes. it. And it was a pleasure meeting you, Jeremy. I know you're watching. Hi, Bestie. <laughs> he watches the show every oh, morning, too. Oh, he does. Too. Oh, yes. the work you're doing that you incredible do work. Right. Incredible work. All right. Our next Giving Matters food drive is on Wednesday, July 27th at the Giant on Rockville Pike. You can come out and donate from 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. for a list of some of the most needed items. Just scan the QR code on your screen, and all food donations will benefit the Mana Food Center.